A certain fruit stand sold apples for 70 cents each and bananas for 50 cents each. If a customer purchased both apples and bananas from the stand for a total of $6.30, what is the total number of apples and bananas the customer purchased? Well, you may think this is about algebra, but this is actually just about looking at the digits of the numbers. What we know is that we are starting out Apples have a digit of 70 cents, or others, other digits if we multiply that. Bananas have a tens digit of 50, and we want to wind up with a tens digit of 3 in $6.30. Well, first look at the bananas. One banana costs 50 cents. Two would cost a dollar. Three would cost a dollar fifty. Four would cost two dollars. So notice that the tens digit is going back and forth between zero or 5. And what would I have to add to 0 or 5 to get a tens digit of 3? Well, I'd have to add either 3 or 8. Well, the only way that I can get a, a tens digit of 3 is if I do 9 apples. Well, that would give me $6.30. That would be the whole $6.30 just on apples, but that's not allowed because we're told that we have to have both apples and bananas. If I get a 10 digit of an 8, I do that by multiplying by 4. That's $2.80 spent on apples. So let's say I get 4 apples at $2.80. Subtract that from $6.30. And what I get is $3.50 to be spent on bananas. Well, that would be seven bananas. And so if I have four apples and seven bananas, that means I get 11 pieces of fruit total. And this is answer choice B.